Hey guys and welcome to... Ba -ba! So today I wanted to do uh, an updated Wrestlemania video. Uh, it's been a while since I did one and uh, obviously there's been quite a few announcements, quite a few changes to the card. Um, so just wanted to have a look at what the uh, rumoured matches were, uh, have a look at what matches have been confirmed, what twists might be happening. Uh, really just kind of bring it all back up to speed uh, with where we are with Wrestlemania 32 at the moment. So, uh, currently there's only four matches that have been announced and I can tell you that at WrestleMania 31 there were nine matches in total. So that means, that includes the pre-show as well, two on the pre-show last year. So that means that there's still uh, space for five more matches. Now, one of those could be the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, but that's still going to leave spaces for four more matches. So I think the first thing to do is let's have a look at the four uh, matches that uh, are being heavily rumoured at the moment. So the first match that I'm hearing rumours for is the US title match. Um, this is going to be Kalisto against Alberto Del Rio, apparently. Um, I don't believe it. I don't buy into these rumours. Um, I think that their blow-off hopefully would come at Roadblock, if not uh, on one of the Raws following that. I would want to see Kalisto enter into a new feud. Um, in truth, I think he'll lose the bout, whoever he faces, uh, just so he can then concentrate back on the Lucha Dragons. Um, otherwise, Sin Cara's at a loss. Maybe that would be the feud. Maybe uh, Sin Cara would turn on Kalisto and then we get Kalisto against Sin Cara at WrestleMania 32. At the moment, the only reports that I'm seeing say Kalisto uh, going up against Alberto Del Rio. Um, I, I don't I say I don't believe it, but that's hey, that's the news. The next match that's being rumoured is AJ Styles against Jericho. Apparently, there's going to be a bit of a, a run with this Y2AJ. Um, for the next month or so and basically up until Mania and then it'll implode and then we'll have the match now I'd be really disappointed with that to tell the truth because I think that Styles deserves to be moving on from this feud I mean they've had three matches already and AJ came out the winner um, it wouldn't surprise me that Jericho turned on AJ uh, but it's not a match that I feel I need to see again. They, they're they good. It's going to be a good match, and I know I shouldn't really complain, but WWE have already done it. We've already seen it three times. You know, there's more than enough talent on the roster for AJ to move on to. I don't know, maybe Jericho wins. Maybe Jericho wins and, and it evens it all back up again. Uh, if Sting can lose at WrestleMania, then Styles can lose at WrestleMania. Um, that it'd be stupid for them to do it and I, I wouldn't be into this match but that's the rumour next one would be a ladder match for the Intercontinental title uh, they did this last year and it was really successful it was a great match um, I wouldn't have any problems with them doing it again I can tell you that there were 7 people in last year's match so um, if we go by that as uh, you know how many people would be in this year's Owens would go in as the champion I'm um, um, certain of that um, I think the the other six people would be The Miz I think they're building him up for something and this is the only thing I see him fitting in to um, unless of course he goes up against Kalisto for the US title but that's that's not the rumour um, so uh, The Miz um, I think that we see uh, Dolph Ziggler <clears throat> he's always around the Intercontinental title he never seems to be able to move on from it so I see Ziggler being in this. Big Show, he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal last year, so I don't see much sense him going in that again. They could do, they could make him the defending champion, but they didn't do that with Cesaro. Plus seeing Big Show in a ladder match would be, uh, do I want to say entertaining? Can Big Show do anything entertaining? I'll go with interesting. It'd be interesting. Stardust. Um, I think he's a talent that's above the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, he was in last year's ladder match as well, so it wouldn't surprise me to see him in this. Uh, and Sami Zayn, uh, rumours are that he is going to make his debut, his main roster debut at WrestleMania. So I don't know if it's going to be that they're going to tease uh, a mystery 
person, but they've set it up well because uh, obviously uh, Zayn eliminated Owens at the Royal Rumble, so uh, the groundwork's been done. And then finally, Neville. I would hope that Neville wouldn't be lost in that Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And in all fairness, a Battle Royal isn't really somewhere for a high flyer of his stature to be. Winner-wise, uh, really difficult to call. Uh, they could go with Sami Zayn, uh, or they could just keep the title on Owens and then have the owens uh, Zayn feud for the belt after, uh, with Zayn picking it up at some point. Um, I'm a massive fan of lengthy title runs. I don't like to see the champion and the titles changing hands because I just think that they should be treated with respect. So uh, for that reason, I would keep the title on Owens. But I wouldn't mind if uh, Zayn got it. And I certainly wouldn't mind if Neville got it. Next rumoured match would be for the tag team titles and this would be New Day going up against the League of Nations. Um, so if it is going to be uh, Kalisto, Alberto Del Rio, then I think what we would see is the three guys uh, on the New Day, Xavier, Kofi, Big E, going up against Rusev, uh, King Barrett and Sheamus. Now... Sheamus has picked up an injury, but from what I'm hearing, it's just is he he got a gash, he got cut open, that should heal. Um, even if it stitches, he's going to be fine in twenty odd days time. So I, I think Sheamus will be there. Um, bad news or King Barrett, as he's now known, uh, I know is talking of leaving after WrestleMania, um, and Rusev isn't high in uh, Vince's priorities. So, uh, New Day League of Nations, three on three, and uh, New Day retain. Finally then, you've got the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, I see the likes of Kane going into this. I see uh, Tyler Breeze going into this. Damian Sandow, um, quite a few tag teams. I'd see Goldust going into this. Um, so... Uh, I think it'll fill out, they'll easily fill it out and there'll be um, some NXT people in there this year uh, and I think I'll go with Samoa Joe actually as winning it I think that a lot of rumours have said that he's going to make his debut on Raw following Wrestlemania 32 there's nothing to say that he's not entered into the Memorial Battle Royal wins it and then comes out to gloat about it the next day uh, on Raw. That that would make sense. So that's five of the matches then, uh, the, the heavily rumoured five anyway. Two of those would appear on the pre-show. So I think you'd probably see um, Kalisto, Alberto Del Rio, if that's what even happens, and the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. But that just leaves us with four matches, the four that are confirmed. So uh, the first one is Brock against Ambrose. Um, I would love for this to be the case that the winner gets put through to uh, the main event. Um, I, I, think, I think that Ambrose wins this. Uh, I think that Ambrose wins it and hopefully gets added to the main event. Um, but if not, I think he wins it anyway. Defeat in Brock Lesnar is still a massive, massive prize. Granted, not as big as ending the streak, but um, victory over him is huge. So, and I and I think Ambrose is the one. I th they need to pull the trigger at some point. Why not with Ambrose, who's who's approaching red hot, with, you know, fan favorite, not Daniel Bryan level, but uh, on his way. Next, we've got Charlotte against Sasha against Becky, and the big news is about Charlotte. Um, apparently, she uh, got busted open, and we've not heard anything, but there's every chance she is out. If she's got a concussion, she is out. Um, WWE just are not taking chances, and certainly after Daniel Bryan came out and said that he had um, been getting uh, seizures, recently and pleaded that um, Brie didn't tell WWE about it. This whole Daniel Bryan thing, once all this came out, the truth came out, made WWE look look wicked because it, it makes it look as if they really look after the wrestlers. Um, if, if there's any doubt with Charlotte, she is out. 
Um, winner of this, they could they could pull the trigger on Sasha. Um, I don't see it being Becky. I think it's either Charlotte retains or uh, Sasha uh, wins the title. Personally, I'd keep it on Charlotte because I think Sasha's got time to win it. She doesn't need it right now. If Charlotte is out, then there's a few options as well. You could go with Paige, who should be uh, at WrestleMania. Certainly because she keeps screaming, this is my house. And the song is Welcome to My House. If For that reason alone, Paige should be on the card. Um, so there's Paige, Naomi, you know, one of the most uh, underrated performers uh, really across the whole roster. You know, there's an argument that she should be in it. Bailey, you know, be wicked to just have her music, just have like a hundred of those flappy armed, wailing, uh, inflatable guys just straight the way across as she comes out. Be epic. Personally, my favourite would be Steph. I would have Steph. I would have Charlotte vacate the title soon. I would have Steph get it somehow. Either it just gets awarded to her uh, or she... Uh, wins uh through uh some heel uh tactics the title and i just really like the idea of triple h and steph both going into wrestlemania 32 as champions and both walking away empty-handed that leaves us with the big two so uh shane against undertaker this is mouth watering the reason this is mouth watering is because i just don't know how this is going to go um i i think taker wins it because I think Shane then goes back to his businesses uh, or his other businesses. Uh, I don't think Shane's sticking around to run Monday Night Raw. Um, but who knows? But that's that's the reason that I think it's Undertaker anyway. I also don't think Shane's going to fight this. I know they've released footage of him working out. But I just think that's a swerve. And I think Cena fights. And then the fans are going to have to choose. Are you gonna, do, you want, do you want Shane and Cena to win? and Monday Night Raw to, fingers crossed, improve, right? That would mean cheering for Cena, though, which for a lot of us is very difficult. Or do you want Taker to win? You know, we're, we're all behind Taker. We, you meet very few fans that don't respect the man, but then Raw stays the same, Vince wins. That doesn't make much sense either. In that scenario, I see Taker winning. Fingers crossed, that is the point that Cena flips. Cena flips, turns heel, starts beating up on Taker after the match. Uh, that that would be epic. What would be better is if Sting comes back and Sting is Shane's guy. It's just all down to if Sting can do it. Favourite outcome, though, I think is a Taker victory. I just don't think Shane's going to stick around and run Monday Night Raw. Also, it's worth mentioning The Rock will be there. Don't know what he'll be doing, but I think Ronda Rousey will be involved. I think another promo uh, segment is probably uh, best to expect. Um, I also think that Foley will be in the mix. There's rumours that he will be not on Raw this week, but next week. I think it's Philadelphia next week. Uh, Chicago coming up this week. So there's rumours that Foley will be in the mix. Obviously, Austin will be around. So we'll have to see what comes of it all, but those names, fully expect to see them there. But that brings me nicely to the main event, and um, pretty straightforward, this one for me. Triple H against Roman Reigns. If Dean Ambrose doesn't get added, Reigns walks out as champion. I think everything is built to this. There's been a lot of rumours saying that Triple H will swerve us and he'll keep the title. I could believe that happening. But I think it's more likely that Roman wins it. And rather than us having to sit there and listen to his music, see him celebrate for too long, I think it's a case that uh, Seth comes out and just reminds Roman that he is back. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I uh, really appreciate it if you did because I'm dropping videos all the time. There'll be many more on WrestleMania to come. And uh, also you can follow me on Twitter. That is at Wrestling Days UK. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. You should know that I do. And uh, I will hopefully see you again next time. Thanks again.